The TVA board approved research that may bring a new type of nuclear reactor to East Tennessee. Now, this is a picture of how that would look along the Clinch River. And 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot explains what makes this new technology different. Along the Clinch River, at their nuclear site opened in 2016, the TVA wants to invest $200 million to explore these small nuclear reactors. Hopefully to get to a point of making a decision at some point in the future about deploying new nuclear technology. What's the difference between these and existing nuclear reactors? The new small modular reactors would generate less than a fourth of the power as the existing ones. They have advanced technology and design characteristics that make them far more efficient, far more flexible. TVA says it's one part of their plan to move away from old power sources like coal. But the Southern Alliance for Clean Energy does not support the plan. It's not clean as advertised. Their executive director says nuclear power is not as clean as alternatives like wind and solar. And he says TVA should not be the first to try this new technology. There are very serious financial risks. It is highly questionable whether this technology will ever be able to come in on budget or on schedule. One of the reasons why we're doing this program is to gather that information. The site has the only permit from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission for a small modular reactor. If they move forward, TVA says we could see this small reactor by 2035. In Oak Ridge, I'm Vinay Simlot. TVA stresses they have not made any final decisions on whether to use the new small reactor technology on the location on the Clinch River. The Southern Alliance for Clean Energy says TVA should instead focus on cleaner forms of energy and on making the Tennessee Valley more energy efficient.